Okay, I'm gonna try really hard to do this without laughing. <laughs> so, <laughs> I uh, I was recently given a gift. Um, <laughs> it's uh, with uh, this the uh, a new video game console called the Thumby. It is uh, I I'd never heard of it before. I opened the package up, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the world's smallest video game console. <laughs> Um, so, I know, I'd never heard of it before. It's, uh, so it's designed, of course, to look like the Game Boy. It is not a Game Boy, it's its own, uh, has its own, uh, you know, software. And, uh, yep. <laughs> I don't even know if I can pick this up in the video. Um, I kind of, so, <laughs> it's really inexpensive. Um, I think the hardware is great. Um... The buttons naturally are hard to press because they're really, really teensy. But uh, the pushing them does feel good. They're nice and clicky and they feel sturdy. So that's impressive. It's just up, down, left, right. The, the two red buttons and then the power button on the top. That's all there is. Um, it does have audio output. It has a tiny, tiny quiet speaker. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's the, the USB port on the bottom. <laughs> Uh, my favorite re was my favorite review. My favorite quote from a review was, uh, "Pictures w cannot prepare you for just how tiny this, just how small it is when you actually hold it in your hands." Um, yeah, I <laughs> I assume that this is the kind of thing that uh, you know it's kind of gimmicky, and people get and they say, "Oh my gosh, that's cute, that's fun," and then it kinds up in a drawer, ends up in a drawer. I love this thing. I have played it so much. So, I mean, first of all, the ga there's games on it that are, uh, first of all, I mean, it is, uh, it's a sturdy hardware. You could easily keep it on a keychain and take it with you anywhere. So it's always available. Um, also, what was I going to say? Oh, the, the, I've been having fun with games on it. My favorite game here, let me scroll down. Eh. My favorite game so far is, uh, here it is, Pico Pack, which is a Pac-Man version of little scaled down version of Pac-Man for the uh for the thumby. And uh, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> um so there's fun games to play on it. Most of them are very simple. And uh another reason I love it is because it is so easy to put other games on it and uh, I mean I'm a I like I like uh attempting to make video games. I can easily write my own games and put it on here. Oh, easily I say. Uh, they provide the tools to make it easy. Uh, whether or not it's easy depends on my skill. <laughs> but yeah. Um, oh, here we go. Get him. Eh. I'm probably not going to last ah! too long because... Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it to the, the thing before he got me. Anyway, so that's Pac-Man. Um, or Pac-Thumb. Uh, what else did I want to say about this? Yes, of course, there's a version of Doom for it. It's quite fun. Once again, it's pretty short. It's only one stage. But, uh, yeah, i played that quite a bit. Um, what else is there? Yeah, just everything about this. Like, they had... The people who made this obviously had a specific uh, idea in mind to make a uh, the world's smallest video game console that is... In my opinion, their their goal was to make a uh, the world's smallest video game console. Uh, it's strong, well made, uh, inexpensive, and uh, easy easy to put port ga put games on, make games for, and put games on. And they did a fantastic job. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, someone who loves retro video games, especially the Game Boy, and who uh, enjoys uh, trying out new games and what is it and sometimes making games this is just perfect 